Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to show you something new. We're going to show you how to evaluate a 3 by 3 determinant. Now there's several different methods and I'll show each one of them one by one so you can see how you can uh, find the way that you like best. So one of the ways to do that is to go ahead and imagine that there's three elements at the very top. So we have element 1, element 2, and element 3. I numbered them 1, 2, 3 for convenience. And then if we we're going to take each of those elements separately and put them out to the side here. So this is equal to 1. And also you need to put a sign associated with it. So the elements change in sign. In other words, even though there's no sign in front of them, when we start evaluating the matrix, we need to put a sign in front of them right here. So we can take the first element right here, we put a plus in front of it. We take the sixth element here, we put a minus in front of it. We take the third element here, and we put a plus in front of it. And then each of those elements are going to be multiplied and I better put a plus here, otherwise it doesn't make a lot of sense. Each one of those elements are going to be multiplied by the remaining determinant portion when we block out the column and the row in which this element is in. So what does that mean? If I take the first element here, right, right here, number one, put it there, I'm going to multiply that times the determinant, and let me put my pen down, of the remaining determinant when I block out the row and block out the column where that element is in. So I end up with this right here, and I'll put a little line around it like that, a little bracket around it. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to multiply these two elements right here diagonally across and subtract from that when you multiply those two elements right here. So that means you're going to multiply the 4 times the negative 1 and subtract from that when you multiply the 1 and the 0. I didn't leave myself a lot of room, did I? So let me redo this. I give myself a little, more, a little bit more room. So this is a plus 1. This is a minus 2 and a plus 3. And then here, the plus 1, I'm going to multiply by the multiplication of the diagonal, which is 4 times negative 1 minus 1 times 0. Right? So it's going to be 4 times the negative 1 minus 1 times 0. All right? Then you take the second element right here, put a negative in front of it. Now when you block out that row and this column, you're now left over with these two elements and those two elements. So it's going to be negative 2 times the product of the, those two minus the product of those two. So it's negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1 times 2, like so. Now you take the third element, you block out this column and this row, now you're left with these four elements right here, so you're going to take plus 3 times the product of those two minus the product of those two. So here we're going to take negative 2 times 0, minus 4 times 2. Like so. And then if you evaluate that, you'll get the result of this 3 by 3 determinant. So let's do that. So this is equal to 1 times 4 times the negative 1, which is negative 4, minus 0, <clears throat> minus 2 times. This is a positive 2, minus 2. And then we get plus 3 times. That would be 0, minus 8. So this becomes 1 times minus 4, minus 2 times 0, and plus 3 times negative 8. And finally, so this is equal to minus 4, minus 0, minus 24, or minus 28. And so when someone asks you to evaluate a determinant, this is one of the ways in which you can do it. Again, to recap, you take each of the three elements here, you put them out here, <clears throat> you alternate the signs in front of them, plus, minus, plus, then you block out the row and the column where that element is in. Then you're left with the four other elements. Then you're going to multiply each one of those times the product of the two in the diagonal this way minus the two in this direction. So it's four times negative one minus one times zero. Take the second element, put a negative in front of it. Then you go ahead and block that out and block that out. So you have those two elements here and those two elements there. So it's negative two times negative one and it's 1 times 2 over here. Then you put the third element in. Then you block out 
this row and this column, you're left with those four elements right here, so you multiply negative 2 times 0, and 4 times 2 over there, and then you just simply evaluate it. So that's one method. And let me try to show you how to do the next way in which you can solve a 3 by 3 determinant.